So we're here at the Better World 2018, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Hugo Fines. I'm co-founder and CEO of Electric Imp. So what is Electric Imp? So Electric Imp is an IoT platform. Uh, we connect devices securely to the internet and keep them secure for their lifetimes. So uh, there are devices like this, for example, this is um, a, a fridge camera. Yes. So it, it, it's to used to check what's in the fridge. It is, and this is actually a product from Smarter, who makes several connected products. Uh, they have a, a kettle, a coffee machine, uh, a fridge camera. Um, and these, these products are all built on and secured with our platform. So uh, there's a smart kettle, smart coffee machine, and uh, there's like ST in there? Yes. And yes. What, what does it do? How does it connect? So these ones connect via Wi-Fi to the internet. Uh, they have a TLS 1.2 secure connection. Uh, and essentially what our platform is doing for these guys is letting them concentrate on their applications. For us, all we concentrate on is security and connectivity which allows our customers to just think about their application and get to market much so faster. So there's full security in there? Full security, we do the key management, we have an HSM root of trust, we use TLS 1.2, we have all of the, the, the best security and it's our responsibility to maintain that for the entire life of the product. So uh, you've been, um, uh, in the last two or three years, you've been doing some developer boards, right? That a yeah. lot of people have these? Yeah, a lot of people have these. This is uh, the same platform. This is the first generation we did. This was launched in 2012. And running on an SD card? It's running an SD card that has an STM F205 in it. Uh, the second generation had the same processor, and then we've moved on to the 4 series, so we have an ST405. So the fourth now? Uh, we're now on the generation fifth generation, generation working on the sixth. Yeah. So we went to uh, from F2 to F4. So we're um, here. Uh, this one is an IMP3. This has a, an uh, STM F405 and a Cypress Wi-Fi chip. This one has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and an ST413. And um, uh, what, what are these used for? So I mean, these are development boards. These are to show you how the module works. The actual modules are made by Mirata, so you can get them through DigiKey and Mouser and all these places. Uh, but essentially, these ones you embed in your product. They're almost like a connected microcontroller. So in there, you can run your own code, and we manage the deployment of the code. We manage the network stack, the security stack, and the keys. And uh, right here on the screen, you're showing what's going on. There's active devices all over the world. Yes, yeah, um, they, these are actually live real-time connections into our system. Uh, we have over a million devices on the platform. Uh, we do many billions of messages every month through our platform. Uh, and this is just showing the GOIP locations of, of where we see devices connecting from. And uh, uh, what are you showing here? What is this? So this here is kind of interesting. So this is actually, uh, we made a little board to, to show off integration with um, the Microsoft Azure Firmware Management Service uh, and a Nucleo board. So in many uh, applications, people want to do secure OTA upgrades of their device uh, with an ST processor, um, but they don't want to actually load it down with putting a whole network stack re-architecting their product. So this is actually using an IMP4 module, which has an ST processor in it, to talk via our platform to Azure and push different firmware versions down to the ST processor. So the processor here on this Nucleo board is completely unmodified. It's running completely normal, any, any software that will run on a Nucleo. But here, um, I'm speaking to Azure's uh, device twin functionality. If I come here and if you actually zoom in on, on, on the screen down there, um, if I pick a different version, I pick version two, when I click, You'll see here, this one immediately, or pretty much immediately, depending on show Wi-Fi, uh, will go and download the new version um, via Azure. <laughs> well, right. Of course, Wi-Fi is not always working. Yeah, it's um, slow. There's a lot of people here. In the there's, there's, trade there's, show. there's a lot of people, and, 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 and trade shows are always fun like this. Um, yeah. But but essentially, this will will will, will pick up the new firmware yeah. and reflash it uh, OTA. Uh, which is kind of nice because it allows you to do firmware management via the Microsoft tools without needing to modify your products at all. All right. Uh, so uh, how about uh, what's over here? So here we're showing off some things using um, uh, PLCs. There's a PLC here. Uh, it's interfaced via an imp uh, yep. through a field bus gateway. This is going at Modbus RTU. And over here we are actually sending the data to... Um, oh, session expired. Um, we, we're sending sending the data to Azure. You have to do it yeah. oh, okay. Um, we, we, we're sending it to uh, to uh, um, Microsoft IoT Central. So you're doing um, an IoT kind of like cloud uh, system. Yeah, this is this is showing how our cloud side will integrate with uh, Azure, uh, and actually, that I really really have the the fastest, easiest, most secure way to get data into the Azure backend. Are those some of the IoT products that are kind of like made? Yeah, this is some interesting ones. Um, this one about a quarter of a million of these are out in the field right now. 
Uh, this is for Pitney Bowes. Pitney Bowes, uh, they make mailing machines, they print postage, and they're using us to replace the dial-up modem connectivity. So is that in is, the US? This is in the US and actually in Europe, uh, yeah. France, Germany, UK. Um, this what is, one, what is Kiwi Power? Kiwi Power is a demand response solutions. This is a DIN rail thing. Uh, this is used uh, in, in commercial installations to do demand response, turn off heavy loads at peak demand times. This is actually similar here. This is an Eaton Energy Management circuit breaker. This is a circuit breaker in a US form factor, uh, which connects directly up to uh, the utility's back end and will allow control of loads right at the edge of the grid. In this case, uh, it's in trial with 22 utilities in the US uh, controlling loads like water heaters and pool pumps. All right, so, so how's it to, uh, I see you have the um, ST partner badge. Uh, yes. How does it to work with ST? It's great to work with ST. ST have some really, really good uh, silicon. Uh, it's very well supported. Um, they're very, very responsive. Um, and you know, with, when I started the company back in 2011, I looked at all the micros on the market, all the Cortex micros on the market, uh, and really decided that ST was, was head and shoulders above everyone else. They have a really good family approach. Uh, it's very easy to move up and down when you need more processing power. Uh, big wide range of products, good supply, good support. I mean, what more do you want from a silicon vendor, really?